state. The Akan speakers, having established themselves in the Niger Bend, began to flourish as they absorbed and dominated the indigenous groups in the region. Engaging in activities such as pottery, livestock, and trade, the Anna Empire waned in power. The Ekin refugees strategically positioned influence in the region. Meanwhile, the Tebas, who had briefly settled on the Niger Bend, undertook another migration further south to Gabon. Daja, the Gons, Jai Group and Garamantes, on the other hand, charted different courses. The Gons, inspired by the success story of the Ganja State, established their own Bono State Kingdom in. This marked the beginning of a wave of Agon settlement in the Gold Coast, with various groups, Sunny Guans and Tees, and the and Joma eventually settling in the Ivory Coast Territory. There, they established the kingdoms of Bauna and Kumbo, Aquamu. The collapse of the Ghana Kingdom Inn prompted a group of displaced Sun Inc., known as the Mandas, to move south, fierce fighters, the Mans conquered the Bona and Aquamu states during this century, leading war refugees to establish new settlement areas in the Gold Coast. Refugees from the Aquamu state under the leash of Anar Asima. Under the Anar Asima. The narrative of the Ivory Coast settled in the Adansi district, Akrakir, and joined the Bono Kingdom. Bono Manso, leading to the establishment of states such as Joban, Bekwe, Kumasi, and Kokofu. The Bono state, which played a crucial role in nurturing early Akan states, eventually succumbed to the might of the Asante state in. Amidst these migrations and state formations, a narrative of the Agan speaking people. The narrative of the Yaakon, layer of intrigue to their historical journey, a journey that spans from the Middle East to the Kingdom of Jado, shaping the diverse and rich cultural landscape of the Akan people. Myths, Isa, Ntai Temjadkari's remark when he heard that states had formed a united front against him was adapted as the name of that union. Where did the Aiken speakers originally come from? Could it be that they originated from the Middle East and gradually undertook the southwestern journey? Tado, of Niger holds the ancient ruins of a civilization that thrived around years ago. This plateau, known as Jayadam to the Akan people, once served as an oasis in the Sahara Desert. The Tabu, Libyan Berber, Saharans, Guans Garamantes, and the Jag group were the major ethnicities that comprised the state of Jado. The Ayuko clan royals of the Jado was a significant trading center on the trend. They engaged in activities such as herding goat, pottery and trading, and routes, but it faced challenges during the Arab invasions of northern Africa in the th centuries. This led to the abandonment of Jado by its inhabitants, with many migrating southwards along the Niger Bend. Some Tibu population chose different directions, heading for northern Chad and western Sudan. The Jado Plateau was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in recognizing its cultural significance. 
Moving to the Wagadu Empire, founded by Ban 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 Taxes the Wagadu Empire, also known as the Ghana Empire, faced a year war with the Almoravids. The conflict ended in the burning of the capital city, Kumbai, Sela, weakening the empire. Eventually, it was absorbed into the Mali Empire around C. The Aiken refugees arrived in the Niger Bend during the decline of the decline of the cottery, livestock, and trading. The Tevis, after a brief stay on the Niger Bend, migrated further south to Gabon to Fayyir. Ja, group and Garamantes took different routes. The Gwans established their Bono State Kingdom in later branching out to various settlement areas, including the Akwamu State, Nzima State, and Osu, Alata. The Jia group settled in the Ivory Coast, establishing the kingdoms of Bona and Akwamu States during this century. War refugees from the Ivory Coast settled in Gold Coast Territory, establishing Gold Coast states such as Aquamu states, such as Aquamu Gold Coast Territory. Aquamu's Territory. Origins are a subject of discussion with Dr. Joseph Boki Donkwa suggesting a Middle Eastern origin and a gradual southwestern journey to the Kingdom of Jado. The Akan speakers, having established themselves in the Niger Bend, began to flourish as they absorbed and dominated the indigenous groups in the region. Engaging in activities such as pottery livestock of their communities, as the Defy Empire went in power, the Akin refugees, their influence in the region. Refugees from the Akwamu state went on to establish their own states, including Akwamu. And Zima under the leadership of a Norasiman. Wano Manso, leading to the establishment of states such as Joban, Bikwai Kumasi, and Kokofu, the Bono state, which played a crucial role in nurturing early Akan states, eventually succumbed to the might of the Asante. Amid Stayan, Amid Stayan, Amid Stay, formations, myths, and legends emerged, such as Iza. Nte, immortalizing the resilience and unity of the Aiken speaking people. The narrative of the Aiken speaker's origin, as suggested by Dr. Joseph Boki Donkwa, adds a layer of intrigue to their historical journey. A journey that spans from the Middle East to the Kingdom of Jado, shaping a diverse and rich cultural landscape of the ultimate voyage through the fabric of the O and our existence. Our will to live avoid trekking. Join us as we take you on an exciting journey through time, revealing the secrets of the past, present, and even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times. As we go across the cosmos and explore the core of human history, culture, and existence, I'm ecstatic to be your guide. Faith.